Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Prepare for battle. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of the Slavenly Gamer Podcast. I am your host, Milton, and on this week's show, we're doing a very, very special gorilla show. Now, I'm back in the hotel. You might hear a slight buzzing in the background. That's because we're in Southern California. It's a million degrees out here. And, you know, my guest and I, who are going to, you know, chat a little bit about SCR, because as we're recording this, today is Sunday and SCR is still continuing. Top 8 is uh, about to happen in a couple hours. But we decided to run off, come to the hotel, record a little bit, talk about Talk a little bit about what's been going on this weekend and what are some expectations. Uh, talk a little bit about some games that, you know, didn't necessarily get the shine that they should have gotten this weekend. Um, and, yeah, we, you know, we're just going to kind of freestyle it. It's it's, it's a guerrilla show. It's, it's the SCR show. I hope you guys enjoy it. But I just wanted to give you guys an intro about the AC because it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely. And, and today... Uh, I'm recording and I'm going to have a conversation with my man. You you know, you've heard him on the show before, uh, Kizzy K. Yes. How are you guys doing today? Yes, yes, yes. So welcome back to the show, bro. So now when we first, like when you first were on the show a couple of weeks ago, I think mm. like maybe like a month now or so. Yeah. Uh, you know, SCR was coming up. You know, we heard some murmurings about SCR being held at the esports arena. Yeah, yeah. We had some reservations, and I think justly so, we had some reservations. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, we weren't sure about the layout, the people, yeah. you know, the AC. <laughs> yeah, how everything was going to be ran. You know, um, it happened. I didn't get to make it on Friday because, you know. Well, I me had, either. I didn't, oh, I didn't oh, show oh, up. Oh, but didn't, I, I've heard that it was kind of it was kind of cool, but it was kind of hot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, you made it Saturday, your first day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And today. So, tell me. What are your thoughts, if you can remember what your thoughts were before as compared to now, now that it's a reality and now that you're seeing so you can actually critique certain things. So what are your so, thoughts on everything? So when I first heard that SCR was going to be at the eSports arena, mm. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Right. This right. is not really... And, and and to be fair, that was like the consensus of the entire community. So it's not yeah, like just so one everybody person. Just yeah, everyone like, was like, so we're just going to have a big old local. You know yeah, what I mean? Mm -hmm, yeah. And I was just like, dang, like, that's kind of whack. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. And, you know, everybody was just like, oh, this is this is legit. Half of people was just like, man, this is not cool. It's just going to be a big old, like, you know, local, which, you know, it kind of felt like that a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Uh, I guess the cool thing about it is it's like, you know, he tried to uh, make something uh, bad. He made something good out of the bad. Right. And he tried, I feel like he tried to use other things to keep our attention. Right. Like up as what we seen is, mm -hmm. this, is what, this is what we, this is what we're, this is where we at. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For example, like DJ, and then, you know, you got food trucks right. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you got music and you got, like, all these people walking. You got Machinima. Mm -hmm. You know, all, you got a block party. Like IES yeah. or something was there yeah. as well, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you got all these stuff. And you it's it's good. Mm -hmm. But you got to keep in mind, when you walk inside, where you're at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I just feel like, you know, the the block party and everything was kind of like a like a just there you know so, what i mean to kind of cover up so you okay yeah so you feel like the block party was just like like it was a diversion yeah, 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 yeah. to the fact that the venue and the setup was not necessarily appropriate right i mean the venue like the venue i i feel like the venue is great but mm, mm -hmm. the huge problems were you know for one you know every everything was running late right Two. I mean, that's like, that's Wednesday Night Fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but everything was, I mean, it's Wednesday Night Fight, it's a local, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I felt like everything was ran late. 
you know, uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, stuff been going on from like the other, uh, from Europe. So they had the CatCon channel. So everything was kind of around 30 minutes behind and stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. But I felt like that even still, like other games was just late just because. Right. I just felt like, um, it was just people kinda, weren't showing up in time. The same yeah, kind of like the celebrity status yeah, nonsense. Or yeah. People feel like, or just, okay. or just people it, since games was taking forever mm -hmm. to finish that it just took forever. Like, you know, like MKX being three out of five, you know, MKX lasted for so long that KOF was two hours late. Wow. Right. But you, you know, you'll ask for like, you know, these, these games get like these extra, you know, extra game, you know, extra, extra attention, extra yeah, time, you know extra I mean? care. And yeah. It's just kind of like, you know, like, dang, you, you do realize that we're all on it. You know, we all have to do something tomorrow, too. Right. And right. we got to get rest. Right. You know, right. and you got to keep in mind, you got to play at 100%, and then you got to play the next day. Okay. You know? So, so obviously, you, you know, you, you just shared a little bit of your views of not necessarily really being too impressed and, and kind of having your fears kind of come through a little bit yes. in terms of... It's one of those things where I really, I pray that it does not happen again next year. Okay, right, right. And, and, and I agree, you know... But to be fair, in my opinion, I just thought, I was like, this is not a good idea. You know, you heard, I said it, you know, yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. like vocal about it. I was like, I don't really think it's a good idea. It, it's it's going to feel kind of weird. Um, you know, you know, there was questions, you know, there were questions in terms of capacity and all those kind of things like that. Um, in, in, in my personal opinion, I think Valle, I think Uncle Valle pulled it off and I think it came off better than I expected. However, I, I agree. Right, you know what I'm saying? I agree. I think it definitely lived, it, it kind of went above what I expected. Right. However, it did really just feel like a very big ass Wednesday night fights. Yes. And, and as a person who frequents Wednesday night fights, um, and a person who, you know, lives relatively far away from here, and given, you know, it's the gamer weekend. I decided to run a hotel room because I didn't want to drive back up, you know, because, you know, late things and, and all the money's being spent. I kind of feel a little bit robbed, to be quite honest. If, I, if, I don't if, blame you. You know, if, if I'm to be frank and, and it's and it's nothing negative against anyone. Um, I see that people were trying to to just kind of change change things up and, you know, for quote unquote, because, you know, this is the name of the company, level things up a little bit. Yeah. But um, everything that was done today, I felt like. If it was done at a hotel somewhere else, would have been a much better. Ex it would have been much better executed, and I believe it would have probably been received better if just, it, if it wasn't at a venue that also holds locals for us. It's just it's just hard because think about it. Like when you you have to wake up in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. And once you like get out of your pools, you can't even like go upstairs and get go rest. First, right. you gotta wait. You first you gotta walk out of the block party. Because, you know, you right, know everything right. is blocked off. Yeah, it's right outside. So you have to find, like, an alternative location. Call your taxi, or if you're driving, you got to drive back, mm -hmm. and then you got to rest. And then, like, let's say, for example, you kind of overslept, like, an extra five minutes. Yeah. Now you got to, like, oh, you know, now you, like, rushing and stuff. You mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're already out of your comfort. Like, I just feel like that it was just really, it's really inconvenience for the player. Yeah. I, I think, like, I see... What they were trying to do, I kind of dug some of the ideas. Some of the ideas, I, 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 I quite frankly didn't. I am not a big fan of this whole esports craze, and it sounds crazy, and and people might be mad, and you know, just listen to what I'm saying before you you know start taking the piss. Like, just listen keenly to what I'm saying. My problem is this, and this is what I'm and this is what I'm seeing. And as somebody who's more kind of like dug into the community more than I am, you can. Tell me, you know, whether, whether you agree or disagree with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My thing is this, like, like I, I appreciated Machinima and all those things being out there. But my problem, my concern was for the players. I'm like, yo, if you just lost, you don't want to be in front of a fucking camera. Huh. Like, these players need time to, before they play, to have a moment to themselves to think and get themselves into a particular mindset. And after, you know, if they lose a really, you know, even if they lose or win a good or bad match, 
I feel like there needs to be time afterwards as well. Yeah, you need a time out. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like a lot of people were just being fucking hand-bugged yeah, by these people. Yeah, after they get up the, the game. Hey, man, so uh, we want to talk about like yeah. you know, what you was thinking in the match. Yeah, you know, and, and it's just like... Yeah, like, can you leave me the fuck alone for like five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I, and I just feel like that's my concern with this whole esports thing. And I understand, like, esports... And, and I've said this in earlier episodes of the podcast... The the FGC has a split personality. So our our true self is FGC. Yes. Our adult, quote unquote adult self, and we want to make some money self e-sports. is esports. Right, right. But I think people aren't thinking correctly and approaching this in the right manner as yet because they don't really understand. And I feel like a lot of esports people that I've seen, and I've talked to people on the scene as well, a lot of these esports people are just fucking reporters. They don't actually yeah, know anything. Yeah, they don't really know anything about games. You, you know, and I think like that's a major problem. And they just know we want this guy in the camera. Yeah, and and I feel like those kind of things that I saw and I was like that's kind of cool and doing the play by play and all that shit, but I'm like there needs to be that needs to be better planned out and it needs to be better approached because like you can't ask somebody after getting blown up to come and commentate. Like, they should be allowed some time. You know, like, I just, like, those were some of my minor. And those are minor things that I noticed. Um, It being so spread out with the inside and out made me feel like, like, I, like it really felt like a Wednesday Night Fights because it yeah. was impact and the energy was different. There weren't, yeah. there weren't like, uh, um, what is it? Like, the people who, like, the vendors, there weren't yeah. as, you know, I think there was only Arcade Shock there. Right. Um, You know, like... I'm a custom. There was a there was a guy that uh, does mod, mods uh, mods and repair sticks over there. Yeah, the like side. a little small, like right yeah, next yeah, to arcade yeah. truck, right? Yeah. But uh, like, and there was like a little food vendor, a little bit. Like I felt like they were the most useless. To be honest with you. What the the guys that like you buy water and stuff like those guys are so uh, like yeah 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 important yeah because I, you go outside and you buy food and you get a drink from there yeah <laughs> so it was just like why <laughs> yeah, am I even buying this here true, if true, I'm just true, buying true, that true. there. Um, and yeah, it was cheaper outside. Yeah, it was. Um, I, you know, I found some, you know, a lot, a lot of, you know, logistical issues, you know, in terms of not enough space for setup. And then, like, I was people, very impressed with how much space that we did have. Yes, yes, and and I think that's, that's something was, very important. That was the most important thing out of my expectation. Yes, yes, there but, was there was ample space, but. Because of the actual space, to me, and it, it's 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 hard to figure, and you probably won't be able to necessarily understand unless you've been to Wednesday Night Fights and you've been in the environment to know exactly what we're talking about. It just felt like a really big local. Yeah. And it wasn't that, like, feel. And people's like, oh, you know, of course, you know, it doesn't feel like a local because they got international players. But I'm like, okay, there's been Wednesday Night you know, Fights. The international where... players were just, they yeah. was losing. Yeah. Like they was playing at a local. Like Goichi lost first round. Oh. <laughs> he lost he lost to a Chun Li player from Santa Barbara. Wow. Yep. Wow. First round. International. Like two I one said, or no, two oh. Ooh. Yeah. Boy only got one round. He, he got bopped. Like it like it was a local. That happens to you. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know, you know we, we we all know that. But like, you know, overall. It was, you know, it was entertaining. It was cool kind of seeing the cameras out there. I agree. You know, uh, uh, you know, I love how they set up a tent outside. One thing I did not like about that mm. is the, the, the BYRC uh, area, right? Yeah. One thing I did not like about that is when the sun was out, oh. I couldn't see nothing on that screen. Yes. And I was sitting behind you when you were playing, I think, Guilty Gear just now before we came yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was kind of hard for me to see the screen. I was just like. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was it was tough. You the know, ST, you know, and shout outs to the homies, I f- I uh, like Miller, Eugene, I Sharon. Like they were doing ST because you could see. I mean, the old tube TV, like that shit didn't bother it at, yeah. at all. And but, the fact that they ran the stream outside and stuff, props to them. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, man, it's it. It was. Yeah, you know I mean, they ran a tournament too. They, it, they, they, they did it. Yeah, outside. dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, like a, a lot of crazy things ha- happened, and I, I personally feel like. I respect ingenuity, and I think you know my minor critiques and my minor unhappiness with, with particular things isn't like a shot of like 
Because people like to interpolate things and not necessarily listen. To them. Oh, you know, this whole shit, you know, you said it was all garbage just because, no. I said these are the few things that I kind of didn't like. You know, I didn't like the feeling of it felt like being at a just really, you know, a really, quote unquote, a really big Wednesday night fight. You know? I just, I, what, one thing I don't like is like, I don't want to go outside and like play casuals. Yes, I didn't like that at all. I didn't want to go outside and play casuals. Like, yes. At all. You know, yes. You got to keep in mind that we got to put our stuff on the floor. Like our bags and right. stuff on the floor. Right. You know what I mean? People and then, like it's not really that much uh, stations. And I feel like also like And didn't he say it was gonna be forty? Yeah. Or am I over exact I, I think so. I can't remember. He said it was gonna be like 40, 40, 40 setups, right? That was not forty setups. And unless I'm crazy. <laughs> I didn't count. So well, I can't I, really like, count. It was it. like a good like twenty. Oh wow. So like that forty yeah, I didn't unless it was like a double tent and I didn't see the other tent. Right. But the only 10 I know is when you walk outside. On the it line. was right there. That was the only yeah, 10. Yeah, well, like, in that case, that was not 40. Yeah, unless, you know, unless there was, like, another invisible tent somewhere that we yeah, didn't yeah, see. Yeah, unless we just, you know, um, machine you know, yeah, them tent. Yeah, you know, and also to me, like, unlike any other, like, tournament that I've been, been to, and I've only been to a couple of tournaments recently since moving to California, this felt, the community felt very much disjointed. Yeah. And maybe it was because of the, you know, the inside outside kind of like this yeah. dislocated setup. But just... like, I feel like usually like when we go to like even SCR and, you know, we had issues with that one in Ontario, <laughs> you know, but it felt because we were all in one big ballroom. It really felt like a major. Like, yeah. you know, it's like it's like and, everybody and we felt had like a community. Nice chair. Everybody had yes. nice chairs. Yeah. Everybody sitting. And, you, you know, you yes. see people playing games. You yes. always running into. Yeah. You know, it's, I felt like just here. It was just. Yeah, it it felt, it felt like it was two different two different tournaments going on at the same time, yeah. inside and outside. Yeah. And again, you know, uh, it was cool. I respect you know the ingenuity in trying to you know use the space that you have available to you the best way you can in terms of you know saving money and all. I will say things. he used it the best. He used that more optimally, but yeah, I mean, you know, and I, I I I would really hope that he will have a stronger idea next year. Yeah, but I, I personally hope I feel I the like, same way. I like that he tried it. Yes, exactly, I, exactly. You know, he tried it, and you know, he made the best out of it. And and that's my thing. And but I I don't I would like to have a bar room. Yes, I agree with that. And I I, know, I personally like, feel next year we should not have. SCR like, and, and you know, that like location. not to not to make not to make it sound like NCR was like better than S- SCR mm. like overall, right. but NCR great great experience, right? And you it was made, in Sacramento. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It it may not like it may only care about Street Fighter, in right? Terms of sense, like you know what I mean, like you know, yeah. main focus is Street Fighter. Mm. But in terms of like having like a, a ballroom where you're playing casuals for like three hours, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like a little ballroom. It's it's very important, man. Like, yeah, like, stuff the, like the environment is, super, is very yeah, important. Yeah, everybody's just hanging out, just ch- just chilling. Right. Like just relaxing, man. Now you brought up another topic that we wanted to talk to because this is not going to be anything long, folks. Because we got to kind of get back out there, and I'm yeah. starving too. I yeah, yeah, get some I'm food. Hungry. yeah, I'm starving. Too, yeah. <laughs> um, on the drive over, we were having a conversation about certain games not being given the respect they deserve. Guilty, yeah. Right. Um, and within that conversation, we said that we feel it's unjust because a lot of people don't like Street Fighter and it's, it's just a money grab right now. It's, it's, it's money surrounding the whole situation right now. Like, what are your thoughts on, as you said, Guilty Gear, not like you Sorry, folks. I'm 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 hungry. I'm going a little bit crazy right now. Before I skip around, tell the people your thoughts on Guilty Gear's uh, uh, position at SCR this year. I felt like it was in a okay. Well, we're just gonna make run this early mm. and then just get this over with. Mm. That's how exactly how I felt. Like I felt like all right, since uh, since you know. We're kind of like on a time zone, and Street Fighter is going to be run most of the day. Mm. I'm gonna need you to be up here at 10 a.m. sharp, mm-hmm. and everything's gonna be done until before 12. Wow, that's exactly what happened, right? On the secondary stream. Jeez. Even though Guilty Gear Revelator has been really, really strong 
for the past two, like, year and a half, mm-hmm. we still are, like, 10 a.m. We're a brand new gang. Mm-hmm. Haven't even been a year old yet. Mm-hmm. And yet, we are still waking up at 10 a.m. And how many entries do you guys usually get for guilty? Well, f- surprisingly, mm-hmm. even despite that, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of um, majors don't really give us love. Mm-hmm. We got sixty, like over sixty people, like sixty three. Really, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, despite not having a pop bonus. Right. Okay. So let me be the devil's advocate. Cause you know there's someone listening right now laughing right. Right. when you said there's there's like over sixty people that are like, well that's why it doesn't deserve any attention you know like fucking six people who gives a fuck about that but blah 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 right what would you say to someone with that essential reaction to you like well obviously no one gives a shit because there's only sixty people you know like who cares about a game with only sixty entrances like you know but you but you also made a comment about last year at SCR. Smash, which I didn't know, only had 15 entrances. Yeah, it had like 16 entrances. And it was the main game. And it was the main game. You said it was also like a part of the main stage this year as well, too. Yep. At SCR. Like, why do you feel that is? Why do you feel that there is that clear and con- like, there's that clear bias against like, quote unquote, anime games? Because like, you know, I right. think I think Uniel is dope, but I wouldn't. I don't think I would ever see it at, at, at like yeah, a, at a major. Yeah, main stage. Because I, I think it's I think it's a friggin' awesome game. Yes. And what, what interests me the most, just to be frank, a lot of people that I'm speaking to in the community, a lot of top players are saying that they're not necessarily enjoying Street Fighter. And they're well, enjoying, and you know, a lot of, they a, enjoy a lot of other games. Yeah, a lot of people don't know, a lot of these top players also play other games. Like, they play Guilty Gear, they play uh, Blaze Uniel, Blue, Blaze Blue, Blue. yes, yep. Blaze Blue, um, like Vampire something or the Vampire other. Vampire Savior. Yeah, you know, like, and I feel like the way that they talk about it, I feel like they're caught in this catch twenty two, and it's in this very harsh case of a catch twenty two because they're making their money from Street Fighter because that's where a lot of the of the media attention is at the moment. Right. But in terms of actual fun and enjoyment, and and just it's just not fun. Yeah, and like having a lot of positive things to say, it's always these other games. They're always right, like, yo, yeah, yeah. man, like when I'm home, I'm playing Guilty Gear. When yeah, I'm home, I'm you, playing you Blaze hear Blue. Like all these high reviews, but then when right. you see them, you don't, they don't ever play. Like, wh- okay, so do you think, like, do you think the people who don't talk about it, do you think they're cowards? Like, 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 how would you critique them? I wouldn't like, even say they're cowards, but what I would yeah, say. Yeah, it's, that's harsh. And I don't, so let me rephrase that. Do you think that, do you, do you feel for them in given their position because they're making money, you know, they're, whether it's sponsorship. Do I feel for them? Yeah, to or whatever. To a certain extent. Okay, okay. So I'm, go into that. So unpack that. So the certain extent is if you know you're at a, a, a situation where, you know, you're, 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 you're ha- you have a sponsorship, mm-hmm. you know, they present you as uh, an athlete or they just present you as a good uh, uh, viewership investment or any, anything in particular like that, right? Mm. So, you know, of course that they're going to tell you they want you to speak good about X and Y. Right, right. So, you know, you have to speak it. Right. But if you're, you know, off scene and you really believe that, hey, this game is like perfect, mm. no, no, no problems. Right. It's just the characters that are cheap. Mm. Something is wrong. Because it's it, it, it's way deeper than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know, mean, we're not gonna get into that, but it is deeper because we had that. It, it's deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had you that know, conversation just, on the way I here. Just, it's just really sad that you know people white knight this game. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you and, went there, huh? You went there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's just sad that people white knight the game. Uh, you know, I, I really. But okay, so what? What if people are listening to you right now and they're like, "But kids, you're saying that." But if it wasn't for this game, we wouldn't be at these majors right now. Like, we wouldn't be, you know, there would be no SCR. There would be no Capcom Pro Tour. There would be yeah. none of these big things. Like, do you think people, like, what is it, Stan is the term people say? Or even White Knight to the point where they can't be intellectually honest and just critique it? From a, from, a st- from a point of truth and just say, well, you know what? I love the game. I enjoy it. But 
these are where the problems are. Because I feel like, and I know someone's watching is like, yeah, but people talk about it. But yeah, no, they really don't. Because we talk about it as a community amongst ourselves. Right. But there's literally a few. Maybe like Sanford Kelly is one who, who kind of you know. He's kinda, openly honest. Bro. You know, he's he's openly honest. And and my and my opinions have changed a little bit given the more information that I've received and the more top players I've spoken to in regards to Street Fighter. Because I was one of those people like, oh, give it a chance. You know, it's only seven months. Blah 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 blah. But I, I also feel like within that time frame of street fighter 5 maturing which i do believe it deserves a chance i also feel like other games should be given a chance right right i'm not but what makes it what makes it very very frustrating is when a game is actually really really good mm -hmm. even though a game that has a lot of problems mm -hmm. is still the big thing mm -hmm. when you could see the problems right. like if you go on if you go on twitter and you just like watch like tool assist, uh tool assisted videos yeah like you see Urian grabbing a character. You see Urian grab, grabbing a character, mm. and it's just like, like Chun Li is full screen, <laughs> and then like she shoots a fireball, mm. and he shoots Aegis Reflector, mm. and if the fireball hits Chun Li, you're able to grab in a combo, but you could grab Chun Li full screen without being there. Jeez. Like something is wrong with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Why is that a main game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game needs to sit down and it needs to be fixed. It needs to be completed. I feel like what we're playing is a 60% game complete completion. Okay. And it's very, very unfortunate that it's a series that I love. Mm -hmm. But since their excuse was we wanted to push this out for the players. Right. That No, they wanted to push it out because... Since money was being that invested, money, dog, <laughs> they had to throw it at people, right, right, and just work on the problems month by month. Right. I mean, honestly, uh, uh, not saying anything negative. Um, I'm just a podcaster. Like, you know, I don't make any money off this. I just do this out of the love. Right. I haven't, and I respect that. I really haven't been enjoying the game. So you know, no, but nobody has. Dude, me, I, nobody has me by the nuts. Dude, so I can say what I want to say. I, I, I haven't. haven't Really I haven't been enjoying enjoyed the game. the game since April mm. because I knew that the skill that I've developed mm. wasn't going to outplay anybody. Mm. It was just like, like the way you have to approach that game is you have to play by feel and you have to play by like heart and ride the momentum. Mm -hmm. That's not right. really being strategic. That's just believing too emotional. Like yeah, you, know, you have just, to rely you're just too being very yeah. emotional to your decision. Mm -hmm. And it like since option selects are gone. Personally, a lot of people may disagree that option selects are very very cheap. But I find option selecting is so good it brings order into fighting games. And the reason why I say that is because they eliminate the random factor. Mm. When you don't have option selects, you're, it's just straightforward. That means you you can't you can. Somebody could just be mashing something, mm -hmm. and you can't do anything about it. There's no OS for it. You have to take it. You know what I'm saying? And right. It's very unfortunate that this game require it rewards momentum. Right? How you, you can't stop momentum? There's no scientific theory fact that you can stop like adrenaline. <laughs> there's no way unless you mm. have a gun. <laughs> like there's no way to stop that. Mm. If a person's running at you forward with a mind game or my a, a game plan. Mm. You don't know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. So what what does that have to do? Now you're guessing. And that's where random factor kicks in because you're not stopping what you can't you're not reacting what's going on. You're guessing out just to stop momentum. Right. You're not always going to be right. You're RPSing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not that's not fair. I'm sitting here I I'm, I created like a, a, a like a strong like a strategy mm -hmm. and like my strategy gets thrown out the window because x did that and now i'm in this situation it's funny because i like the thing that i you know we were having a conversation a couple of other players and i we were having a conversation yesterday actually about that same thing with this game and it's just like just one thing all it takes is just one. all thing. it takes is one why is a game is like that like just one thing, like and that's it. Guilty Gear has the same similar thing like that, mm -hmm. but at least you have a burst. Mm -hmm. You have you have other like you have de multiple defensive options. Right. In theory, if you want to look at it from a theory standpoint, every character has one 
one uh one reversal option that is obvious mm-hmm. except uh you know despite having like shuttles you know, right, right, reversal right. Option. but everybody has a v tr- v reversal mm-hmm. so that's like your answer of getting out right but that's only one thing that you have to worry about but unless you plan against you know a specific character mm-hmm. if you're playing a character like Laura all you have to do is just meet her that's and, and or and and look out for a uh, V reversal. Right. That's one situation. You know how easy that is to bait. <laughs> you get you get what I'm saying. You yeah, yeah, how, yeah. Like, but the problem, well, the thing is, is like if she touched you, she just puts you in rock paper scissors. Rock yeah. paper scissors, you're stunned. Yep. Game. And yeah. you're just like, what happened? You can't even sit there and tell your brain that you screwed up. It's more, yeah, her momentum is so It's just more of so just insane. like, man, I just messed up. Yeah, yeah, her momentum I, I, is so I insane. Get, I, you know, he picked scissors and, and, and yeah. I picked paper. So, do you think with all the issues facing Street Fighter uh, and as a community, uh, you know, we still waiting for it to m- mature? And I, and, I, and I said this and, and I still, in a lot of ways, stick to it. Um, we do have to give it time to mature. And some may argue... Uh, that, you know, they should have learned from Street Fighter 4 because it took Street Fighter 4 maybe two, three years to mature into the game that people loved and enjoyed so much, which I really wasn't a big fan of all that much. But at first, I actually enjoyed Street Fighter 5 more than I enjoyed 4. But the more I started to play four, five, it, it got it has like the flaws. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of like, worse. It's, it's, because it's, now it's the game now, now the, like if you want to hear something funny, this is the funny thing about this game is let's go back, let's go back a little history. Let's let's go back in time. Mm-hmm. So we you know we back in time. Did you know that Street Fighter Four was supposed to be user friendly? Really? Yes, that's what the Ultra comeback was. Right, that, right, 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 right. But if you look at that game, to do combos in that game was hard. Yes. You had to practice. <laughs> in this game, mm. I, in my opinion, I feel like if you want to do, like, the most optimal training, mm. you have to practice. You have to sit in training mode and practice on defense because the combos are so easy for most characters. Mm-hmm. There's no point of doing combos. on. There's no point of doing combos. Right. What are you going to learn? You're like you. You want to practice on avoiding situations, but in four you had to pra- practice avoiding situations, execution, hit confirming, yeah. execution, right, reacting, right, with punishing, right. You it was so many things to option selects, th- like crouch teching. You had to. So, so now so people when, people are pro- so someone's probably listening and being like, that sounds like hell. And Street Fighter Five sounds way better just on the merit right, of like right. it's, it's sounds, not as difficult. But since you see, you see when there's no order, you see people. You know, no offense, Richard is my boy. Mm. I love Richard to death. Mm. I, shout outs to Richard, man. Mm. X uh, X D Pinoy, mm. Godlike. Mm. Keep in mind, Yukonon was a top eight evil comp- uh, competitor. Mm. Just got four old rounds straight. <laughs> Just got four old. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't know how to play the game. There's. It just happens. You just, you just. But don't these things happen though? Like, when the last time in Street Fighter Four that has been a huge upset, multiple tournaments, like huge, so huge to the point where it's just like, wow, I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah. Like, if you, if like, you know what? Street to be Fighter fair, 4, like, like, and I hate to just like relate to Street Fighter Four because mm. I can relate to this in any game. Right, right. But when you. Like, uh, uh, it was always, like, those mid to high level. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, the high level. And it was international levels. Right, right. So, the mid to high level always competed with the high levels. Right. You, see the, you could see the upset you here You can see there. the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you, yeah, see, yeah. you see the, the It was the a totally upsets. different game, yeah. yeah. The high level had a chance with international. Mm. So, you always seen slightly upsets. Mm. But you never seen, like, an international player just, just lose. You know what? It's funny because... Just lose to, like... A dude named like 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 sleight of hand, <laughs> sleight of hand, MP90. Like you you don't hear people lose to that. Like like it, Grinta for example. Grinta is a perfect example. Mm. Grinta have stopped coming to Wednesday night fights for a bit. You know he may have been busy. I'm not saying that he's not good. I think he's a great player because mm. he's a Chun Li player, so he understands Chun Li. But if I recall, I don't really remember him ever playing on an international level. Right. Goichi is an international level. Consistent, 
Didn't he make top eight Evo? Yeah. Yes, right? He's been top eight only. He won international tournaments. Just got two, got four, or got four O. <laughs> Just you see what I'm talking about? And you think that's the game? You think it's because of of? I of, think it's the game because there's no other games that I ever ever see somebody really just like flat out lose unless it was like a game that has the the factor in it, right? Like dive kick, like oh yeah, <laughs> you know you gonna you get hit once you're dead, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You, RPS, right? Yeah. So, but like games like you know Guilty Gear, like Blaze Blue, it's rare. You rarely. It's rare, even mm-hmm. Smash. It's rare to see like somebody really, really good at a game mm-hmm. just just flat out get wrecked by somebody that like like a nobody. Not to sound not even, like, like even whatever, like, like but... just somebody who just started to, like started like this is my first series of the of the game, and I'm just dominating. Oh, you get what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Like if I just started playing Revelator like mm-hmm. today, mm-hmm. if I'm in top sixteen, that's a problem. I get your point. You get what I mean? I like, get your point. P- but, you know, the games are starting to evolve to the point where people don't have time to practice. So we're just going to make the game as, as open to everyone as possible. Right. But there's no order. Right. And hopefully that can change. Hopefully I know. I, I believe it's going to change. You, I, what this, The strategy I'm thinking Capcom did, mm. and this is a great strategy, mm. is make the game as easy as possible mm. for one year. Get everybody in, mm-hmm. get everybody hyped, suck everybody in. Mm-hmm. Season two, make the game. Like, like whatever idea they had to make the game, mm-hmm. put it there. Right. Fix all the problems. Take away the problems. And then the game would probably be as great as everybody hype it up to be. Right. Now, let's shift gears a little bit before we close out because we've got a couple more minutes. I don't okay. want to, you know, I don't want us to be here too long. Let's go grab some food, man. Definitely. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about the other games that don't get shine. And I want to hear your opinions on why you believe they don't get shine. Even when, as we just discussed, these games get love from a lot of the quote unquote major street fighter people, you know, a lot of the faces of street fighter. Why do you think they don't get love at, at, at our, at our, not even locals. Cause they do like, and quite frankly, at Wednesday night fights, Sometimes there's more people there playing Smash than there is playing Street Fighter or any other game. Just to be honest, like, you know, um, there's nothing to lie about. And I don't think if you've come to the last couple of Wednesday Night Fights, you can deny that. The Smash community rolls deep. Right. <laughs> like, they are they are thick. Right. And, I mean, you know, with, you know, with the advent of social media, those numbers are out there now. People talk about it. Like, Smash right. community, like, that is the, you know, that's why people are like, well, Smash should be headlining everything because, you know, just numerically, like, Smash... You know, Smash... One thing you know, I would respect about Smash, and, you know, personally, like, I feel like Smash should be their own thing. Mm-hmm. That's just my personal opinion mm-hmm. because of how they're structured right. and how they approach uh, their uh, their scene. Mm-hmm. But they are the most consistent pl- uh, type of community that I've ever seen in my life. Really? In, like, in, in what ways? Just they always they are man. If if there's a big event, there's a big event. Mm. There ain't there's no like maybe it's gonna be big. That is a huge event. <laughs> they come out. They come out like bro. They are Russia. <laughs> they come out, and I and that's like respect. Yeah. Shout out to all the great players out there. They yeah. Play. Like I support Smash. You know. I just feel like they should be their own thing because of how they're structured. Okay. okay. But I I support. Like I. You know what I mean? Like, so, Guilty Gear, as we were talking about Guilty Gear. Now, Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue, all Blaze, those other games. See, now, games that don't really get the most love, like Blaze Blue mm. and uh, Under Night and stuff, mm. the way the way they, the way the game is, like, they're like the shadows of, of Guilty Gear. Now, keep in mind that since Guilty Gear is already hard to push yourself out there mm. in, the, in the public eye, mm. uh, you know... Everybody kind of have to kind of focus, so like all the community in the same like type of an- like like the anime air dashes, right? Right, right. We all had to kind of have to stick together and push for one game mm-hmm. because we can't, we're not strong enough to push out multiple. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. the game is so hard to get into it. Right. You know what I mean? Like people have people gonna have to like take time to like learn. Yeah. But people don't have time. I mean, I- so like. 
only the dedicated players. I think it's a combination of things. I think it's a combination of there. It is true. Some people don't have time, but I think it's also like it's the it's yeah it's the gimme it right now yeah society that yeah, we which live is, in yeah. which I I I I don't I'm not hating on your game, but just don't expect it over here because that's not <laughs> how this game works. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. Like right, you right. know, even still, like people give me a lot of props and you know, like a lot of like respect in Guilty Gear, but I still feel like I got a lot to learn. Mm-hmm. You know, I like. And you're but, always open with that. You're always open. Right, about, right. I always know. tell people I don't ever want to win off ignorance. Mm. I don't want to feel good about winning off ignorance. Right. I want to win because I outplayed you, and I was being a very, very like smart player, mm. and I had a, a, a dominant strategy over right. you. Right. And you know, I outplayed you. Okay. That's how. That's how I want to win. So. You said something earlier, like okay, so we got the vantage points of these games, and you know throughout the conversation sprinkled here and there and then just now a lot of people just don't necessarily like anime games they're a little bit more difficult to get into yep uh uh you know um in terms of difficulty i.e like practicing and skill level execution so on and so forth um but you said something as well and we're gonna close on this one and we're gonna head back to ser um we're gonna grab some food yes yes we're gonna grab some then go to ser but the food trucks, though, we could probably just check the food. You want to go there? Yeah, the food okay. trucks are actually bomb, dude. Is it? Like, yeah, they're, they're actually bomb. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. I'll take it. Absolutely. Um, why do you think there's so much division in the community? It's because it's a lot of disagreements in terms of, like, what's what's good and what's bad. Mm-hmm. People who think it's bad, may others may think it may, good. It may, it may be good. Right. And then... You know that kind of already has a di- divide right there, right? And 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 maybe it's the people who are saying the things too, because yeah. I feel like you know we you know we were just talking about this. Like if one person says something, no one will probably listen. But if another person says it, they may listen to them. That becomes gospel, and everyone's exactly. going to listen to it just because like, this one person says it. Man, I get it. I, like I said, I get into huge conversations and debates mm. with my own friends about you know certain things yeah and, you know they just don't want to accept it yeah you know and they call they say i don't want to accept it <laughs> so i'm just like well so the, so you guys are basically at a stalemate then at that point yeah guys, well i try like, to drop it because at the end of the day i'm cool with you man i'm yeah. not trying to like right i'm not trying to discredit you right. i'm not trying to do anything like that i just want you to know that like this is a fucked up game. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know what's so funny? I've recorded a couple episodes talking about it. And by the time a full year is hit, let's see where the game actually is. And let's see how the community has I changed. I agree. You know? Um, and I always wish for the best. Yeah, of, of course. Of course. Yeah. But um, before we go, two questions. Yeah. So we had all the things. So give a final assessment of your thoughts of SCR. And then who do you think is going to take it? Okay, so this is a this is this is pretty good, yeah. dude. As a matter of fact, just a side note before you answer that, I'm sorry. Tekken Seven is a fucking amazing game, godlike game. I just saw Punko win. Dude, that game was that game was amazing. People, and this is kind of touches on what you were saying earlier about certain games not getting the attention because of like the that money. That game gets no attention, the, dude. That game gets no attention, and I had more fun watching it, watching that than I had watching. Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. That game was fucking intense. It was an amazing thing to behold. Like, that game was fucking entertaining, dude. Like, it was absolutely crazy. When I seen him, uh, when I seen him do like an air fireball to try yeah, to catch dude. the, I was just like, this is, God, like, this is ridiculous. Like, it was so much fun. But to answer yeah. your question, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, for top eight, I know it's, uh, I know it's PR Barog, mm-hmm. uh, ZYZZ, yeah, Korean player, yeah. uh, Knuckle Doo. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, who else is in there? Is it is Hitani? I think that's uh. Shao Hai, Shao Hai, Shao Hai is gonna take it. <laughs> you're you're not the first person to say that. I've been asking around today, and Shao a couple Hai. people have said There's that. There's nobody in top eight mm-hmm. that I feel like X Y Z Z though, like or X Y Z. I'm he's sorry, X Y Z Z Y. Oh, he's in losers. That's why I would see all the all the people I want to gamble on. Mm-hmm. The problem is they're in losers, mm. and they already got to kill each other out. Yeah, so 
I um, think Onuki is still in winners. Murder, yeah, Onuki, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't. I think he's going to lose to Shaha. Man, this is going to be intense, man. So so far, SCR sixteen success. Uh, your opinion? Out of ten, I give it a six. Okay, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. You know, we touched on a couple of topics, and this is what I love. You know, with this gorilla episode that we did today, um, short. Quick little, you know, 45, 50 minute, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. chatting it up, you know, giving you our on-site opinions of SCR, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, some games and things like that. Talk a little bit about Street Fighter, of course, because, you right. know, it's Street Fighter. Um, and, you know, we're going to head back. Um, but, you know, my opinion on SCR, again, I respect the attempt. Still kind of felt like a really big Wednesday night fights. Right. And also for the new people that come in and you haven't haven't actually tried any of the fighting games we talked about, it, just throw our opinions on the side, but just try it before you. It, yes. You, yeah. Try yes. it. Yes. Yes. We're not. Yes. Tell, I'm not telling you to not play anything. I want you. I want everybody to play what they enjoy. If you happen to enjoy the games I disagree on or agree on. Awesome, dude. You know, the fact that you're getting into the scene in the community, it's already uh more uh more successful and it, it makes me happy you yes know what I mean? yes i, I definitely we want, second we want that. more new we want new people exactly and 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 i definitely second that like even with everything even with our critiques of scr we feel like you know come the, come out realize that we gave negative and positives we didn't right, just right. all negative just right. all positive we, right. we gave a critique we gave our opinions and remember this is our opinions you know and and everything that we discussed in relation to scr and how it was presented and how it was handled these are concerns that the community have prior. So it's not like, oh, we're being salty and yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah. ignorant bullshit. It's just like we're having a conversation because, you know, we we had a conversation as a community about it prior. And then it's here and we're experiencing it. And we're giving you our opinion while we're experiencing it. So it's different. It's like we gave you an opinion based on going to this venue and based on it not actually coming into fruition yet, and now we're giving you a real life opinion after right. the fact of like, okay, we went there, this this is what we saw, this is what we liked, this is what we didn't like, you exactly. know, so on and so forth. And everything that we say here, and I always say this, folks, like, you know, on the podcast, like, this is my opinion, you know, yeah, yeah, I, it's, I'm being truthful, yeah, but it's my opinion. If you disagree, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. But what we want you to do and what's important to us is come out to the come out to the locals come out to the tournaments play play the games which is very important actually play the games and let's talk to people talk to people and let's have a conversation let's not follow don't follow these morons who just make youtube videos and they chat shit on twitter and then you know they come to a tournament one day get murdered and then they disappear, and then they're probably gonna make a YouTube video talking shit about the tournament <laughs> in about two weeks, and exactly. they're, and they're not gonna talk about how fucking horrible they played because right. they have no excuse because they were playing somebody in real real life. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not playing somebody online, so you can't say it's lag or any other yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, you got mopped because you suck. Right. <laughs> like, it happens, dude. It, it happens, you know, and. This is what we want. We want you to come out, have fun, have a good time, enjoy the community, make friends, talk, chat, enlighten each other, share your opinions, because it's through that the FGC grows, and we need you to come out, and we need, you know, we need conversation. And with that, folks, my man Kizzy and I are about to go hit this food truck. Yes. But before we get out of here, as always, Kiz, let them know where they can find you on social media. Uh, So... For Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter, Kizzy, K-I-Z-Z-I-E underscore K-A-Y 310. Uh, you can contact me, on, hit me up on Facebook, uh, Keenan Kizzy, uh, K-E-E-N-A-N, and then Kizzy, K-I-Z-Z-I-E. Um, you can definitely hit me up on Discord. Um, it's uh, hashtag um, 19404. And the line is Kizzy K. If you have all of those, uh, all of those, um, those social media apps, hit me up, man. I'm, I'm always down to talk. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna plug something that Kizzy has forgotten. Every Tuesday, him, Nerd Josh, and our homie Tasty Steve, yes, does talking about you know giving taking this moment to give shine to a game that doesn't get shine. Guilty Gear, man. Yes, those Guilty Gear streams are fucking awesome. 
you guys definitely got to check it out. Follow me and make sure this is a good segue. And in order to find out, make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'm always retweeting those yes. links whenever whenever they do it. Definitely. So make sure you follow me over at Slovenly Gamer on Twitter, Slovenly Gamer on Facebook. Make sure if you're listening in the iTunes app to like, share, rate, and subscribe to the show, please. And you can also he- head over to our SlovenlyGamer.com. You can listen to things there. Um, you know, again, Facebook page. You know, I'm Slovenly Gamer everywhere. And you know, I heard you know that um you know that the word slovenly is a bit you know high vocabulary for some of the fgc people so before we go on this on this uh, special scr episode i'm gonna spell it out for you guys so you can you type it in and i'm everywhere so it's slovenly gamer and that's s-l-o-v-e-n-l-y-g-a-m-e-r slovenly gamer folks thank you for listening and we're out of here peace